Hey, what's up? My name is Andre and this is my C++ tutorial about the smart pointers. So pretty much, why do we even need them? Like we have the row pointers, what's wrong with that? So imagine this code. Right here I have a row pointer to a CAT class that just holds a char. And I'm assigning a new value, printing it and later checking the, if that's a new pointer. I of course could do that also here, but I was like, all right, I just want to show something and I'm pretty sure that it, this will be valid in this example, and later I'm printing this again. So if I run it right now, and you can see that it works, like I'm printing the valid output, it's for the char, all right. But if I, for example, delete the allocated object that I have somewhere in my memory, and I still have the pointer, if I run it right now, you can see that I have an error. After all, it's undefined behavior because that's how Visual Studio handles that, but in certain compilers or whatever you're using, uh, it might be something else and that's just undefined. And the thing is, when you have a pointer, it's just an address and this address is just pointing somewhere in your memory. But since we are destroying this object, like deleting and making like nothing. We are pretty much pointing to some garbage or whatever. And we just get uh, some undefined behavior because this pointer still holds some value. Like it just has this address and it's valid. Like, all right, so let's do that. Let's go to the C out and print it. But there it's trying to access what's it pointing to. And there's an undefined behavior because the thing was destroyed before. And if you have some garbage collector or like your own or just defined in certain framework or whatever, you might have a problem. Therefore, there was the introduction of the smart pointers, which allow you to automatically check the lifetime of an object and automatically work on that. Like when it checks by itself, the reference counts, it checks whenever you can use that. And that's helpful. So to start with, the smart pointers are just objects that behave kind of like pointers. They also hold some certain methods and variables that simply make the usage easier for you. That's just some semantics that make the memory management really easier for the programmer, even if you're good, like this thing does lots of stuff that you would need tens, if not hundreds of lines of code. So. That's, that's very simple. And the first one is the unique pointer. Also, as you can see, it's just a class with every single method and thing that it, that it provides. So that's not like a, some, some random type, it's just a class. And right here, I'm just creating a unique pointer, unique hat with std make unique. The make unique just allows me to decrease the amount of allocations. I mean, I'm just making, I'm just not writing the new because you can also do an equals std unique pointer c hat and then make a new c hat. But this way I'm just having the make unique, which is simpler for me. And the way that unique pointer works is as name suggests, you are pretty much making a pointer that only points to a certain memory and only this pointer can point there. Like it's unique, no one else can do that. But it has some methods like release, which allows me, for example, to release the thing I'm pointing to because it has the ownership of this certain thing and I can just release it and return it. Also, it has option to swap it because I can have another unique pointer and right now I can I want this new unique pointer to point to the same thing the previous one was pointing therefore I can just swap that this one will for example point to nothing and the new one will, will point to whenever this one was pointing or I can just swap whenever both were pointing to other places so that's the basic usage of that and you can just use it with an object that have really long lifetime and you, you just want to have some strong pointer and to make sure that it exists. The next one is short pointer and short pointer works in a way that it has its control block that counts the references of it. So whenever you are creating a new short pointer, you are increasing a certain reference count by one. 
and it checks whether or not you're still using something by checking the reference count. If it's bigger than zero, that means you're using it all right, we need it. If it's not, then it calls the destruct or whatever it needs. Like it's automatic under the hood, so you can check the you can check the methods of how it's behaving exactly in the class. Also, I'm using the make shirt, and the thing is, normally because of the control block and the shirt pointer itself, you would need two allocations for that. But the make shirt calculates the memory size that you need you need to actually allocate and makes one allocations one allocation instead of two so that's helpful for you and the way that shared pointers also work is just simply by the dependency security kind of because you can have a problem that a shared pointer can have a reference to other shared pointer and this one can have reference to another shared pointer and this one can have a reference to the first shared pointer and you have this circularity in every single way and it's problematic because everyone thinks that it still needs to exist, therefore nothing is deleted and you can have a memory leak. And to fix that, we got pointers called weak, weak pointers, which just allows us... This pointer just allows us to watch a shared pointer value, therefore we can check if it's expired or not by just checking if reference count is zero or it's bigger, or we can just get the value of the shared pointer it's holding and use it for whatever thing we want. Therefore, the weak pointer also is not increasing the amount of references because it doesn't hold any ownership. It just watches the value of the shared pointer and that's pretty much it. So whenever we have some dynamic environment, let's say we are creating a game where we have lots of stuff that's happening, maybe we are deleting many different objects or whatever, and we have our own garbage collector. We might reconsider using just smart pointers because they are handling lots of stuff for us and making our lives easier. So pretty much that will be it from me. Thank you for watching and I see you in the next one.